Today we are going to demonstrate gauging of an 8 round casing coupling with a plug gauge. PMC offers a unique design of 8 round casing plug gauges. This design incorporates removable keys on which min, max, basic, and vanish point are scribed. These scribe lines are then used to properly gauge the standoff and determine acceptance per API specification 5B. What's unique about our design is that as the plug gauge wears, we have the ability to adjust the scribe lines on the keys back to nominal standoff against the master, and as a result, the gauge has a much longer life. The line closest to the large end of the plug gauge represents the vanish point. This is the location from which standoff is measured. Some users may prefer to take a physical measurement. PMC scribes the distance from back face to vanish point on the face of the plug, as shown here. Users wishing to make physical measurements will need to add this number to the required standoff as specified in API specification 5B to determine the required measured value from back face to coupling face. API specification 5B gives a tolerance of plus or minus one turn or plus or minus 0.125 inches from the nominal value. Prior to applying the gauge to the product, it is important to clean both the product and the gauge and visually inspect them to ensure there is no debris or burrs that could damage either part during use. A light coating of oil may be used for lubrication. The plug should be carefully threaded into the product so as to avoid damaging either part. Slowly thread the plug into the coupling until it stops hand tight. Do not use additional force. Look at the location of the coupling face in relation to the basic, min, and max scribe lines to determine if the coupling standoff is within specification. API specification 5B requires that compensation be made on product standoff to account for differences between working and master gauges. This value is calculated by taking the difference between standoff of working plug to master ring, S1 value, and master plug to master ring, S value, and adding it to the specified nominal standoff. This compensation value is typically a small amount. As a result, when the product gauges at or near basic, this compensation is unnecessary. However, if the product is near the limits, the compensation value should be applied to ensure the product remains within the limits. As you can see here, the product is at basic and there is no need for additional compensation.